Hi everybody. In this quick uh, video, I'm going to show you how to set up a very popular um, setting or functionality on, you see on a lot of websites nowadays, and that is to have a sticky header and or a sticky nav bar. So that when you scroll the page, um, it doesn't disappear like that. It'll stay stuck to the top and it's visible uh, at all times, no matter how far down you scroll on the page. Now the various plugins uh, that uh, accomplish this, and I've tried a few, and they don't always work 100%, especially with this particular combination that I'm running here, which is Dynamic Website Builder uh, with Beaver Builder and Genesis Dam Buster. Uh, the Genesis Stand Buster is used to control whether or not I have the header uh, specifically and or the nav bar displayed and the footer and also to give you full width rows when using a Genesis trial team which Dynamic Website Builder is. And that can cause a little bit of uh, conflict when you're trying to get this functionality to work. But I did come across uh, a combination uh, that does work and work quite nicely, especially if you want to uh, just turn off the header on a certain page and still have the nav bar present when you scroll. But on others, you want the nav and the header just the way you see it. So let's uh, go and see how we're going to accomplish that. Here we are in the back end. This is WordPress 4.3.1 running on my favorite, the Uniform server, locally. And just to show you here, we've only got a couple plugins for now Beaver Builder Pro and Genesis Dam Buster, which really won't be used at all. <laughs> well, Genesis Dam Buster will be actually. I take that back. So the first thing we need to do, we need to install a new plugin and add new and the easiest way to find this is just to search for sticky header you'll see all sorts of plugins I've tried most of them and for one reason or other they don't quite do the job but this one right here sticky menu or anything on scroll uh, by Mark Samp, uh does the job almost and that's where the second part comes in. So we'll activate it. And then go have a look at the settings. Uh, settings now to sticky menu or anything. And here's the problem right here on top. Choose one element. Example, main navigation or main menu or the header. So if you just wanted to stick one of those, for an example, this would work fine right now out of the box. You would just go uh, use the Firebug or Developer Tools in Chrome to find out uh, what the ID is of the main menu or your main navigation or header is actually called and enter that value here. However, I want to stick the header and the nav bar so we can't really do that with this version and that's where some custom coding comes in uh, courtesy of I do believe it was Junior Adams on the dynamic website builder forum and so we come back over here to Genesis custom into the functions and I'll be posting uh, this code on the site on Snifflewell with a link uh, in the video. So we'll just paste this in and make sure, like I said, don't move this line. And this is open stick header. And stick header is going to be the name or the class name that we're going to do. And what this does is it sticks the header and the nav element together so that you have one uh, ID uh, which we need. So we'll save the changes here 
and then we will go back to our settings and sticky menu now the album we want to stick enter here and don't forget because it's a class we need to start it with a period and then as the code says the name of the class is stick dash or hyphen header click save settings and let's go back to the front and see what happens we'll just click on here to refresh and look at that there you go now some of these other pages aren't long enough to show much but you get the idea it does stick just the way we want it but now let's go back quickly here and have a look uh, on the pages. I want on my home page to remove the header and make uh, that picture on top which that layout by the way is one of the uh, supplied default page templates that comes with uh, any version or any of the commercial versions should I say uh, Beaver Builder. So anyways uh, we're not going in there to do that we can do that just directly from uh, the WordPress editor section and what we need to do is go all the way to the bottom to the dam buster uh, controls and we need to enable the tweaks what we need to do is to uh, remove the header but leave the primary nav so uncheck primary nav go up here update and then we're going to go back and have a look do a quick refresh and there you have it with the nav bar and the full width or that's not really the right term this is full width because it's as wide as the main container this is edge to edge and uh, it confuses a lot of people when you talk about it on the forum anyways uh, look at this there you go so the nav bar stays on that we come to the other pages the header and the nav is there but again not much to see there but you can see that the both of them are sticking now there's nothing there it's not long enough to do it but anyways um, this is a nice little uh, combination and it does work I've used it now on a couple sites uh, you can do some tweaking here I won't get into it right now that might be the subject of another video coming up but uh, when you go to a mobile device and uh, you may or may not want that to stick depending on your layout so you can enter a value here on uh, the size uh, that you don't want the elements to stick on sometimes if you have a very large header uh, a very tall header I should say and you have it stick you won't be able to to scroll on your phone for an example in portrait mode or even in landscape so you can uh, play around with those settings but anyways for the desktop uh, that works and it works quite nicely and yeah, so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.